Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' systems. So yeah, well today we've got one system from the Lord1221, so yeah, massive thank you for him for sending this in guys. And actually, before we begin, I just want to make a quick reminder that if you want to send in the system, make sure to draw my Discord server, link in the description and upload it in the upload chat there, because I've been seeing a lot of people spamming links in my um, spam box recently and this keep in mind i don't see these if they go in the spam box so it's definitely more beneficial to you if you if you want to get a system in to send it in on the um discord server because otherwise it goes in the spam folder and i don't check it too often so yeah i'll, I'll probably lose it and then never get around to doing it so yeah please uh keep in mind if it's, if, it, if you post the links it will go in the spam box so i won't be able to get around to doing it but you know that all out the way just wanted to put that out there yeah we got one system and it's called the kp centauri and the arp centaur systems so let's go ahead and go straight into it here and see what he is prepared for us so here we go right oh this is looking good okay um kp centauri um, this is a mysterious system, one hatable planet and 12 other planets with 5 plus moons for every planet except KP Centauri A. KP Centauri has 197 objects. Um, Arp Centaur, this is my 6 planets, 5 plus moons for each planet except F. Okay, so we've got a lot of moons, planets in here and yeah, over 200 um, simulated objects. Right, so we'll go to the main star here, Arp Centaur first, because it seems to be the bigger one. So here are its stats now. Let's just see. So 16 luminosity of sun. So let's just get a comparison with the grids. So it's a lot more bright than the second one, which I assume is a red dwarf. So yeah, there we go there. Right, moving on to the first planet now. So here is Arp Centaur A. Right, so here we go. We've got a lot of moons. One of the moons has a moon by the looks of it. They are very close together. Wow. They are dangerously close. I mean, they, are, they probably collide. I mean, look at these. This just looks like chaos if you click play here. They probably involve a lot of collisions and make a ring system or something, so pretty cool stuff. But yeah, there we go. So this one is a pretty hot object that's 600 degrees as well with a light blue atmosphere on it right there. It has zero age, so this simulation's never ever been played. Well, we're definitely going to have to play it and find out what happens with some of these moons, because they seem very dangerously close together there. So then we have um, planet number B here, or letter B. And this one again, also with a ton of moons, which are just going to create massive crashes and stuff. So definitely going to have to check that out afterwards. So yeah, there are all the moons there. So there we go, right there. There we go. So that's Arp Centaur B. Now moving on to um, C now. So here it is over here. This one's at 40 degrees. Pretty Earth-like looking world here. Reminds me of my original Pascal object. Um, so there we go. Let's check the stats on this guy. Got a lot of iron. It's got 76 similarity, but the likelihood is a lot of zeros. So I um, wonder why that is. So 40 degrees. Oh, it's because the surface pressure is so low. Yeah, look at that. It barely has any surface pressure, and humans won't be able to survive in that low of a surface pressure. So, yeah, that's why the life likelihood would be all the way down. So, here are some of the moons, though. Very close. I'm pretty sure a roosh limit would tear these up. But yeah, look at these. They are definitely going to collide as soon as you click play. I mean, they would have this. all these moons would be destroyed within a very quick time. They're all quite large as well. So, yeah, there are those. Seems like he must have placed them very quickly in a hurry. Um, but yeah, there are that. Next up, we've got Arp Centaur D over here. Looks like it's a Titan-like object here with a thick atmosphere, as we can see here. It's very, very dark. I'm guessing that's because there's two stars doing that. So we'll put it on studio mode. So there we go. Then this one's got some moons, which um, seem a little more uh, stable. Yeah, they're a lot smaller. don't think they'll collide anytime soon. So they're all little asteroids there. So there are those guys. All right, cool. Right, now moving on to Centaur E now. This one looks like a Sedna down here. Red object here. Oh, that's the moon. Sorry, let's go to the actual planet. So here it is. It's a gas giant. As we can see, brownish-orange color there spawned in. Um, there we go. Then the moons. We'll quickly um, go through all these guys so you can uh, quickly get a rough view of them all. It's got a frozen ice world. A ton of moons around this one. So there we are. There we go. So there's all of those. A lot of those guys. So there's that Sedna one we clicked on. So that is planet um, E. Now moving on to planet F. This one over here. Actually, I like the grey and the brown on this random spawn. That looks pretty good. And this one has no moon. So this one's a lonely object. Just chilling at very, very far reaches of that system. But now moving on to the second star over here. So KP Centauri here. So this one is a lot smaller. Yeah, brown or a red dwarf, sorry. So it's um, yeah quite dim compared to the sun. But yeah, here are its planets. It's got a hot Jupiter-like object quite close to it. Well, it's not, much, not as big as a Jupiter, but yeah, it's a little bigger than Uranus and Neptune there. So there's that one. KP Centauri B. It's, um, oh my god, look at the moons on this one. There's already a collision here and it's paused. Oh damn. This simulation is paused. 
And it's already, there's already stuff blowing up here. Yeah, we are definitely going to have to click play and see what sort of action we can get out of here. Because this one has going to have a lot of action. I mean, um, this one's supposed to be the planet. But those moons are almost as large as the planet. I mean, yeah, there's definitely going to be some carnage when you click play here. Definitely going to be checking that out. Next up, we've got KP Centauri C over here. This one's an Earth-like world. Let's check the stats on how hassable this guy is. So the atmosphere, again, yeah, the surface pressure is just so low. The, the, the life likelihood will be all the way down for sure it's just because we can't we can't survive in the low surface pressures so yeah earth similarity is 87 but yeah that surface pressure is not going to be nice to life but yeah here we go so here are the moons so there we go a lot of the uh, generic looking sort of objects here don't look like they're customized they're all just spawned in by the looks of it there right next up we got d over here so this one's a frozen world at minus 50 degrees Right here, got some very large moons. They, I mean, yeah, these are going to collide as well. I mean, look, look how close they'll get. Like, if we uh, move, they are, they'd probably pull each other towards each other. They're so close. They are just ridiculously close. That's crazy. Right, there we go. Right, next up, we've got Centauri E over here. So this one is a white and grey gas giant there. Looking good. So there we are. Then we've got the moons over here. So we'll go through all of these guys. So there we are, yep. Yeah. Oh, no, stop closing the menu. I've seen a lot of the uh, Nasku, the Nastasku ones. I have you pronounce the thing. That's a very common name um, you get from the random spawns. We've got some Tori F now. Blue atmosphere on this one. It's similar to Earth in size. And then again, the moons around this are enormous compared to the size of the planet. And there's so many of them. So there's that one. Then we have um, Centauri G over here. Very cold here as well. Again, with enormous moons. And those moons are really pulling each other towards each other there, as you can see. So there are those. Right, and then we have a H over here. So here we go. This one's also chilling with a ton of moons around it, like that. So there they all are. Up there, all right. Good, good. All right, next up we got um, I over here. Again, frozen ice world. So there we are. A lot of um, random spawned in moons by the looks. Of it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like any of the moons are in here are customized. It looks like it's a very, very spam click them all in by the looks of it. Um, here we go. Uh, next up, we've got K over here and J as well. I think we didn't, we haven't done J yet. But yeah, it looks like they're all, it looks like all of these, they all, they all are very similar, all of these planets. Um, they're all just one planet with a load of random moons spawned in around by the looks of it. That's why all the random moons are very similar sizes because it looks like he's spawned in a ton of random moons. And they all spawn within certain sizes. But yeah, here we go. Next object. Those two are going to be colliding in straight away. Um, there. But yeah, here are all of these guys. Yeah, there's only a ton of collisions um, in here. I mean, there must, I mean, we're going to watch that object count go down like crazy. So there we go. Looks like we've got N over here. Right there. We've also got some more moons around it. A ton of them. This is crazy. Yeah, there's going to be so many collisions. This system is going to change so much once we click play. And then we've got M over here. Right, there we go. So I think that's all of the objects now. So I can't wait to click play. This is going to be really, really good. So where do we go first? I think I want to go around one. Of, it was one of the moons or one of the objects closer to the... There was one where the moons were just so close. I want to, I want to go to that one. Was it C? I think it was the Earthlight one. Was it? No, no, it wasn't that one. Uh, B. Is it this one? Yeah, this one. Look at the, this one's already exploding. Right, we're gonna we're gonna yeah, time's already slowed down. Play. Here we go. Yeah, and, and the planet is already collided. That was we've been playing for a few hours. Planet is already smashed into another one. So yeah, look at the object count. Now there's over a thousand objects. I mean, look at the number go up from all the collisions that are going to happen in here. You can just see every time it goes up a few hundred, there's probably in a collision. But you can see here these two are probably not going to last very long. They seem very close to each other as well. A lot of these will probably escape their planet as well with all the collisions here. That is so dangerously close, that moon there. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that is very, very close indeed. That's all now frozen or melted into water. Looks like it may just survive that moon actually orbiting around there. You can see the object count though is still going up and down with all of the uh, collisions in here. So, yeah, there we go. But you can already see... The, look at all this. The, the orbits have already changed around every single star, object, all the orbits are looking completely different to the way it was when we opened it. I mean, look what's going on in here. Look at those guys. Very close indeed as well. I mean, those are just having to dance to the death. Yeah, there you go. They just smashed into each other. Oh my god. <laughs> this carnage. Look at all this uh, debris flying around as well. 
So, yeah, I'm pretty sure all these will just smash into each other until the one dominant object survives around each planet system here. I mean, you see the orbits are just going nuts. So, here we go. There's the Titan. That object's all right, though, because that one hasn't really got anything big around it. But, yeah, those those moons around the further objects... Are really, look, this object's glowing hot right now. It looks like Planet K is just smashed into a ton of them. Yeah, you can see here. There's just shoot. I mean, that's just been shredded apart by Roosh Limit. Look at that. Oh, dear. That entire moon just gone in seconds just got shredded apart by uh, kpk there kp centauri k it's just completely shredded them up so it's already just annihilated those that some of the moons have escaped as well oh my god that's crazy <laughs> damn it's a lot of enjoyment again definitely getting a lot of enjoyment out of this one all the all the objects smashing into each other damn so then we have this one over here as well they that seems very uh wobbly over these orbits as well so that one is just going nuts there's stuff smoking up around here as well i mean look at all the stuff orbiting the star now just all the stuff that's escaped gas giants are doing all right you can see the object count is just continually changing with stuff smashing each other being or disappearing and stuff i mean look at this stuff <laughs> you can see here the uh the attracting objects is all going to change as well but i mean look at all this stuff more debris being shredded up Looks like the star may actually be shredding some of these up as well, but you can just see a ton of stuff has just escaped around here. I mean, look at look at all the new orbits curated. I mean, look at this, look at this, <laughs> man, that's crazy. But yeah, there we go. So I think that does it for um, the um, yes, it's the ARP or the KP Centauri and ARP Centaur system. So yeah, there we go, guys. So let me know what you thought down below of this system. And also a massive thanks to um, the Lord One Two Two One for sending this system in. It has been very fun watching all this smashed apart. With all of these um, systems, very interesting because we haven't actually really done that in any system before. I mean, if we look at the uh, total lineup of objects now, there's probably going to be an absolute ton of fragments in here um, at the moment. So let's just, yeah, just check out the smaller objects down here. I mean, look at all of this stuff that is being destroyed. All of these tiny little moons all smoking up, all of these debris pieces near the bottom here. I mean, yeah, it's just total carnage. Ton of objects in here, but absolute carnage. This gas giant's got uh, collision marks on it, but yeah. Pretty cool overall with the um, two stars like that. I like that binary there, but let's just get a comparison to before and after. So that's after. But if we go to before, just look how it changed within 180 days. So if we load up the simulation, if it works or it may crash on us, that would be nice as well. Is it going to crash? No. Oh, it's just hanging on. Okay, so yeah, there we are. And yeah, that's what it looked like before. So you can see it changed. Yeah, like 180 days. It changed from being like this to a complete bloodbath of objects smashing and being torn to shreds and stuff like that. But yeah, either way, I enjoyed it. So yeah, there we go. And yeah, that does it for today's video, guys. So like I said, if you want to send in your own systems, um, definitely do not post links in the comments because they'll just go in the spam box and I'll never get around to seeing them. But then... Yeah, definitely go definitely go to the um, description, join the Discord there, and then just go straight to the uh, custom systems upload chat, and then just drag your U-Box file, um, simulation file in there, and then I'll do the rest. So, yeah, that is everything, guys. So let's see if we can go for 30 likes for this crazy carnage system of all of the objects smashing each other. And, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.